my dad always told me, if you stick with me and work with me, I'll give you this farm. And I pretty much told my son and everybody else, I want to do the same thing. Hopefully we can get her bailed tomorrow. Yeah, if we have to, I guess we can round bail it and wrap it. That's an option. So when's the last time you were all in a picture together? Um, it's been a while. You guys know best what family up here is everything. Like coming from a smaller family where, you know, we didn't do a lot of things together when I moved up here and married Ben and saw how close their family was. I, I just thought it was really neat and it was something that needed to be documented. Look, 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 Waylon. Three, two, one. Gamble. Gamble. <laughs> Gamble. My dad started the business in 1948. It sort of was unique how it happened because there's nowhere around here to buy anything. So when he would go get something, he would buy two or three. Then the neighbors would come and borrow from him a bag of feed or seed. It just sort of grew into a pretty good business. On our farm, we have Scout, our dog. We, of course, have the cattle. We've got all the tractors all the equipment, we've got people coming in and out of the store. We do a little bit of everything around here. It gets pretty crazy. <laughs> we grow corn and soybeans, barley, wheat, rye. We do a lot of hay, alfalfa hay, and we bale it. It's definitely not for everybody. I mean, it's a seven day a week. I mean, it's, it's your life. You can't hey, wake up around. tomorrow and be like, I don't feel like going out today. When a crop's ready, there's no holding back. Beating the rain. When you plant a crop, you don't know whether it's gonna be a failure or it's gonna make it. Some years it works, some you don't. You dang if you do and you dang if you don't. You never know what you're gonna get when you're farming. It's, just, it's a gambling game. So what he could do is speed up the top covers, try to get that stuff moving faster through. Now, if it's not threshing, then you, that you might fight that then too. Alrighty. The service that we receive from Messix is pretty near unbelievable. I mean, they will bend over backwards. Hi, Ben. Hi, Bob. How you doing? Good. Good, Hi, Ben. All right. How are you doing today? Good. You still need milk here? In all the farms I ever visited, I think maybe only one or two times have I ever been invited in for lunch, and here it's every time I've been here. Typically we eat at noon. Ben's mom started feeding them lunch every day and it sort of just continued that tradition. I remember your dad, dealing with your dad. <laughs> yeah. Did he wheel and deal as much as Ben does? Yeah. I don't know if there's anybody that can wheel and deal like that man. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love working with the Gambles. One, they, they appreciate hard work and they appreciate the service that we provided. The thing that I found uh, yeah. dealing with Ben and the family is that whatever Ben tells me, I can count on. His words as good as any signature or anything like that. It's a great family. Been good domestics. An operation like the Gambles Farm here is it's very first class. You know, they need to be as productive as they can off of every inch of the ground. And that's where the New Holland tractors and haying equipment, you know, is so important that we can get the most quality product out of that field. Man, it makes a beautiful bale every time, and you hardly ever have any trouble or mistie or anything. It just works. No two farmers do anything alike. You know, if I can learn how people are doing things, I could say, hey, I noticed you're doing this. We've got a, we've got a product that might help you out. Looks like you got some, some good hay. Yes, the way, how long everything lasts and the durability of everything. It, we're very happy with the way everything's worked out. I definitely think of pride for Ben, it's pride. Like he, he's proud of his equipment and um, he's proud to show it off to everybody. <laughs> we don't want to go anywhere else because we can just always depend on Messick, New Holland both, just to always give us service if we have any troubles. Whenever you deal with somebody so long and they, they take care of you, you, you remember that. It's definitely a, a different way of life, but it's a good way to raise your kids. They're outside all the time, they're running around, they're 
they enjoy it. I enjoyed growing up on the farm. I was very privileged. I would get in the tractors and haul a silage in. I would level the pile off, be in with family. It was a great childhood growing up. It's a whole generational thing. They're into their third or fourth generation and we're into our third generations. They're a tight-knit family here and we're a tight-knit family at work, so there's a lot of commonalities. I feel like it's a, a choice of life. Like, you're gonna have to deal with family and sometimes you don't all get along, but in the long run, I think it's a great thing just to keep the family tradition going, the farms, and because you never want to see a farm being sold. I guess I'll be the fifth generation of the family going, and it's just a way of lifestyle. You just want to continue and just keep it going.